Here tonight at 6, millions of dollars in COVID relief will soon be headed to Louisville. Today, the city took the next step in divvying up the cash. Mayor Fisher and Metro Council members announced their top priorities, including the one that received wide community support. Grace McKenna shows us a closer look at how housing is becoming more important than ever. Today, the city laid out an early plan for the American Rescue Plan money with one thing center stage, and that's housing and homelessness. Feed Louisville is in the business of basics, starting with feeding the community. A new initiative is filling in the gaps for people struggling to find housing. We're learning a lot along the way. Uh, we are by no means experts. We are doing the best we can with what we've got. They've helped 11 people get into homes, just a fraction of those in need. That's why co-founder Donnie Green wants to see ARP money directed to solving chronic homelessness. Housing that is done with dignity and done right, but that can be a is attainable by people who work. Today, the city committed to housing. After thousands of public responses in favor, Mayor Fisher laid out affordable housing as one of the city's new priority areas for ARP funding. That includes transitional housing, permanent supportive housing, and other forms of affordable housing. But the money will be spread around to four different priority areas and several other city recommendations. Organizations like the Affordable Housing Trust Fund will pitch ideas, rallying support for their causes. For Christy McCravey, that includes building homes to solve the city's 30,000 unit shortage. This is a one-time shot. We'll never, you know, in my lifetime, see it again. But it's not going to be enough. It's not going to solve all the issues. Today, the city wouldn't say how much would go to each area. Councilman Hollander saying only that housing will be a priority. We are talking about a large amount of money here, and I, I am confident that we will be spending more in the homelessness and affordable housing area than we have ever spent in this community. Feed Louisville hopes to get their cut of the cash, though Green says he wishes the council would select just one priority for the more than $300 million in funds. We could end chronic homelessness with that money tomorrow, literally. The city is soon going to start taking project proposals from different groups in the community, and you can keep up with the work at louisville.gov accelerator. In Louisville, for WHAS 11 News, I'm Grace McKenna.